Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Bia and I love makeup and also filming videos for you guys. I am so sorry that I have been missing for maybe about two months, but a lot has happened. Basically, I moved out of my mom's house and I moved in with my boyfriend, which I'm really happy and excited about. And I also changed my hair, like new hair, who's this? I love it but please let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer this or just my natural hair but anyways in today's video i'm bringing you something a little bit different even though i do some videos on quick and easy makeup looks to do today i'm bringing you something a little bit more sheer and super light coverage I am trying some new products that i've bought in the past few months and i have to say that i love all of them. <laughs> I am really excited to show you all of these new products that I've bought and how I decided to apply them and basically how they just turn out. So yeah guys, before moving on to the video, don't forget to subscribe and also to like this video because it's an amazing way of supporting me as a content creator and now I think it's time for the video, so let's go! So guys, as I've told you in the intro, today is going to be quite a different video because I have never used something so like coverage on my channel like ever and by the way i am sorry if this is sounding a little bit echoey but my house is pretty big i'm not here to brag or anything but i am still lacking a lot of furniture because to be honest furniture is expensive as hell so it's still a little bit echoey inside but i am using my iphone a microphone so hopefully that will avoid some of the echo that i can still hear but as i was saying today i'm going to be doing something really really natural it's perfect for summer this is definitely the quickest summer makeup look that you could possibly find and you can still adjust and do something a little bit lighter or a little bit heavier on the eyes but i find the complexion so easy and just so flattering because it's not covering a lot but it's still giving you that sort of flawless filter it's enough to cover little imperfections and even out your skin tone but yeah guys now it's time to start and i am going to start by doing my brows and yes my brows are completely uneven and usually i do them before i start filming my videos because it takes a lot of time I'm not gonna lie, I take a lot of time doing my brows because they are super uneven as I mentioned and also brows are not the easiest thing for me to do but anyways I'm working my way into it. The brow product that I've been using and loving and I've been using this for the past few months is this one from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow. This pencil has this tip which has the color in it and then it has this brush and I love this. This is the perfect combo and honestly to do brows this is my favorite kind of formula slash product to work with. I just love how it works and Benefit has some really, really amazing products. I know you guys can see the corner of my mirror right here, but it's kind of big. But I love doing my brows with this one because I can see my whole face in it instead of like this tiny mirrors in which I can only see half of it. So the first thing that I always do whenever I'm filling in my brows is to brush them upwards. I start by drawing a line in the bottom part kind of to create that shape, even though I'm still going to blend it afterwards. After creating that line, what I like to do is just to kind of fake some hair in here. because so I have some areas that barely have any hair, even though my brows are pretty full. I kind of like draw the brow and then brush it out to blend it. And I do this like a hundred times. And then after doing enough shape on the bottom part, what I do is I brush them downwards so that I can create a line on the upper part. And I always start by doing my right brow because this is the worst of the sisters. So I like to start by doing this one because this is a pretty good guideline. I love the shape of this brow and it's pretty full. I barely have to do anything on it. So yeah, I start by doing this one and I have this one to follow. Guys, I'm just going to skip this part because it's, this is not interesting to see, I know. So I'm just going to finish them off camera and I will be right back. Even though, and especially because this is something really like coverage, I am going to color correct my dark circles as I've been doing in all of my videos. I like to use this Naked Skin Urban Decay color correcting fluid. This is in the shade Peach. I've been using it since the beginning, as some of you guys might know. And this is just perfect to color correct my dark circles because it allows me not to use so much concealer to cover them up. It just kind of makes me work by light layers instead of just packing product to create this huge barrier for them not to show through. 
to blend it, I am using my Beauty Blender. Okay guys, so now for foundation, I've been using something new that I haven't brought to my channel yet. I've been using this product for about a month and it's the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I use it in the shade Alaska, which is their light too. It might seem weird, but I use my fingers to apply this tinted moisturizer. I saw this trick on somebody's Instagram page or maybe on YouTube, I think it was on Instagram and they were saying that this is the best way to apply this product so I tried it and I absolutely loved it and something that is also really good about using your fingers instead of your beauty blender is that this definitely allows you to have like a thinner layer like you don't have as much coverage because the beauty blender as I mentioned in some of my other videos just specs the product so it obviously creates a thicker layer and with the fingers, I don't know, it just looks way more natural in my opinion. It smells like mint or something like that. I honestly feel like I could never be one of those women who just go out of the house with just concealer and stuff because I need that coverage on my face. Not that I have many imperfections, but I have hyperpigmentation on my forehead and I just feel like I always need to even out my skin tone because otherwise I just look a little bit, you know, off. As you guys can see, I look super natural and radiant. This just really evens out my complexion and I feel like this is sort of a filter that you apply on your face and it blurs out anything that you might have there to blur. I don't know, I just love this product, I have been really loving to use it and now we are moving on to the concealer. I am still using the same old concealer, I am sorry but I love this one so I just restocked and I bought a lighter shade because the other one was a tad bit too dark, it was almost like my complexion shade so now I pretty much just use it to conceal anything that I might need to conceal. And it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this time I have it in the shade Madeline. It's the light 2.3. I'm going to use it just to brighten up certain areas of my face and to, you know, just give it a little bit more coverage to my dark circles that are pretty invisible by now. I'm not applying that much product even though I'm still drawing this line. Sometimes I only apply it here and then in here. But I don't know, I just like to do this to connect all of those bright areas instead of just creating patches. It's one of those things and just like any other thing in makeup, you're not wrong, you're not right, makeup has no rules. You just have to like find what works best for you and just basically do it. So as you can see, I apply it in the highest points of my face, the ones that I always love to highlight. But in my forehead, I try to keep it as low as possible because even though I like to bring some light to the center of my face, I don't want to bring it way too high on my forehead because I actually like it to look a little bit smaller. So yeah, I like to keep the concealer pretty close to my brows. Now to blend it, again, I am going to be using my beauty blender. I love using it to blend the concealer. And by the way, something that I... I don't think I've ever said this on camera, I don't know, I'm not sure. but. After blending the concealer on my dark circles, I like to bring the excess and kind of even out the skin in here. And if I need more, I reapply a little bit. So guys, now I'm going to quickly spray my face using the All Nighter from Urban Decay and next we are moving on to powders. The powder that I'm going in with is this one from Laura Mercier. I love this powder. I have tried a few more, but honestly, this is the best formula that I've came across so far because it's really thin, it never looks cakey, it's super easy to apply and it just melts perfectly with the rest of the makeup. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this one for a very, very long time. To apply it, I am using the same old Primark brush. I love this brush and I am in hopes to find a brush just like this one on Primark so that I can add it to my makeup kit because this is super soft, it's a perfect sized and I love the fact that it's a little bit more like tapered in here. It has like this tip which allows you to reach tinier areas. I just love that. This is something really light, so I am basically going to stick the powder to the areas that I really have to set. Then I'm just going across the rest of my face using the brush, but it pretty much has no product in it. It's more like a psychological thing, you know? Now moving on to bronzer, I am using the same old one. You guys know that I love this. It's their classic shade, and this is what it looks like on the inside. To apply it, I'm going to be using my Japanese brush. I'm applying the bronzer in the areas that I would naturally want my face to look a little bit more tan and especially on my forehead because I've, as I've mentioned, I like to make it look a little bit smaller. It's not like a huge problem to me 
to have like a larger forehead it has been worse in the past but i still like to give it a little bit of a touch i am seriously starting to sweat a lot because it's getting hot in here like working with this huge amount of lights and in the closed room it's it's too much but i cannot open my doors or my windows because my neighbors are being super loud so i just have to deal with it i also like to apply a little bit on the jawline moving on to blush this time i'm trying something new i'm using this mac palette that i have on my makeup kit and i am just choosing one of the shades that i already bought so this is what my blush palette looks like and i think i'm going in with this one i don't know which one is this shade but i will try to see okay so this is the shade peaches to apply it i am going in with my japanese brush i cleaned it after my bronzer and i am going to use it to apply the blush because to be honest this is my favorite overall brush for complexion i don't know i just really like to use it i'm just going to smile and apply it on the apples of my cheeks guys i don't know if you can see it on the camera but i really love this shade of blush i think it looks really flattering but anyways moving on i'm going to spray my face again before applying the highlighter and i am going to use the same old spray the highlighter that i'm going to be using today for a change is not from becca this is from mac cosmetics it's their hyper real glow palette and the shade that i'm going to be using is the first one in here it's more like of a champagne kind of undertone and i really love these kind of shades okay so now for the eye makeup i'm going in with this naked heat palette this is what it looks like on the inside I love this palette, I love this kind of earthy and fire tones, so yeah, that's what I'm going in with today because this is also really good tones to do more of a soft beat or like something a little bit more natural on your face. I'm going in with the Morphe M441 brush, this is just a regular blending brush and I am taking the shade Sauced, which is the third one of the palette. I'm just applying it all over my crease. I'm not going to do much on the eyes, guys. I'm just going to keep it really natural and really simple. Now, using this the Weaver brush, this is the 231, which is their Lux Petite Crease brush. I am using a darker eyeshadow. I'm going in with He Devil, and I'm just going to use it to like bring some depth to the outer part of my eyes. You know, build that outer V, shape the eyes a little bit. So now using my 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay, and by the way, this is in the shade Whiskey, which is pretty much a dark brown. I am using it as close as possible to my upper lash line because I want to add a little bit more depth, but still keep things super natural, more natural than an eyeliner, for instance. So yeah, that's what I'm going in with. Now using another Morphe brush, this is the M213, which is... A tiny shader brush. I am going to pick this really dark eyeshadow. This is in the shade Ashes. And using the tip of the brush, I'm going to gently set this brown pencil and kind of like smudge any edges. As well, I kind of like wing it out a little. I started to apply this shimmer and then I moved on to this shimmer. I focused the first one more of like in the inner corner, as you can see, to bring some like extra light and I mentioned to my eye makeup and now I'm just applying the slightly darker one I started by applying the metallic 8 from Makeup by Mario and now I am in the metallic 7 I love to build this kind of transition even with my shimmers not only with my matte eyeshadows I just feel like everything looks way more connected and just I don't know I like when my face turns and you can see like the colors sort of changing I, I really love that effect so guys, that is it for eyeshadows. Now you can just pop on some mascara and you're good to go. I don't think that I'm going to stop with mascara. Maybe I'm going to put some false lashes. I don't know. But first I'm going to curl my lashes. Hey guys, I hope you cannot hear any noise from outside. But I really had to open my window because it's getting really hot in here because of all the lighting. And I need some air, honestly. I, am, I was starting to sweat a lot. <laughs> And that's not cute to see. I needed to curl my lashes, but I almost couldn't find my curler. Like when you're moving, you tend to lose a lot of things and kind of misplace a lot of things. But it turns out I found it, so we're good to go. I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. And then I think I'm going to apply some false lashes because I love the effect that they give. Even if they're like more on the natural side, I just love to have something there. 
Now moving on to fake lashes, I'm going in with this ones. These are from Sozu. I don't know if this is how the brand is called. And the ones that I'm using are the ones named Serum. Now I'm just going to quickly apply these off camera and I will be right back. Guys, you can see how one side looks. It still looks really natural, but it definitely gives some dimension. Guys, you can see how natural I still look, but it definitely added a little something. I don't know, I just like when the lashes look a little bit more full on the outer part because it makes you look kind of like sassy and sexy a little bit. I don't know, I just love this kind of finish when it comes to false lashes. And yeah, it doesn't look like too much. It still looks really natural in my opinion, but it definitely makes the right amount of a difference. And guys, my room is so hot that my cat almost got inside for two times and then he went back, but he's such a good cat and he also loves to be around me or around my boyfriend at all times that he just ended up laying on my carpet. <laughs> but I will show you on my Instagram, like the behind the scenes where my cat is because he's just too cute not to be shared. I just love him too much. And the fact that he's bearing with me this hotness and trust me, my cat really feels the temperature. He always looks for like the freshest places in the house where it's the coolest. And the fact that he's just here bearing the, the hotness with me just to be with me just means the world. But anyways, now moving on to mascara. I always apply mascara even if I use false lashes because mascara just connects everything, blends the false lashes with the natural lashes all together. Today I'm trying this new mascara. This is from MAC, the Extended Play Perm Me Up Lash. Okay guys, so for lipstick today I'm going in with this soft matte lip cream from NYX. This is what the shade looks like and it's in the shade Abu Dhabi. As you can see, it's pretty similar to my lip color, but it's more like on the neutral, more beigey tone, which I really love. I am honestly trying this one for the first time today on camera and I think we have a new favorite. Along with the Ludwig lipstick by KVD Vegan Beauty. I love that one. So guys, that is it for this video. This is a final makeup look. This was so quick to do. Like, even though I took a lot of time to film, the ones who film videos know what I'm talking about. It takes a lot of time. But if I was doing this by myself, like 20 minutes would be enough. Maybe like... 30 at a max because I like to take a lot of time doing my makeup. I'm the most chilled out person doing it. So I just take a lot of time to do it. But anyways, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys like it. And please let me know in the comments down below what you think of this makeup. And I also want to know if you guys are more like into sheer coverage or if you are like a medium full glam kind of gal. But yeah guys, that is it for today. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!